Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shadow Gamer here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video where today guys we are back inside of FIFA 20 and um our first match is the North London Derby in the FA Cup against Arsenal and um I don't actually remember what happened last episode all I know is it's about time we go back to a press conference I know some dramatic things happened obviously was the last episode the one where we found Mac Doherty? No, I don't think it was. Hmm. Rotation is key. You think Arsenal is a chance? It'll be a difficult match. Just because of how shit I am at FIFA. Lats played well. Okay, okay. What happened last episode? Oh yeah, we beat Liverpool like five nil. Hmm. And that put us um, higher above Liverpool, and we still haven't. No one's still really challenging us when it comes to the. To the yes, we are being challenged by Liverpool and City. But other than them two, we haven't really got much competition. Right, I'll talk about... So let's recap this um, FA Cup. Stevenage went through against Crewley, 2-1. Plym Plymouth and Odenham were drawn. Castle and Castile and Newport were level. Bolton went through against Scunthorpe. Chiltern went through, no, Colchester beat um, Chelton. Colchester obviously knocked us out of the Carabao Cup in real life. Maxfield beat Chamber um, Cambridge. Cambridge? What the fuck? Grimsby was knocked out by Portville and Warsaw went through. In the replays, Oldham went out and so did Newport. Round two, Tramier got absolutely battered. Um, Luton Town beat Brentford. Northampton just lost that match. Mansfield lost against Salford. Bury lost 4 1. Barnsley won 4 1. Warsaw again drawing a match, this time against Forest Green. Rochelle went through as well. So did Crew Alexander. Lincoln City went through. Bolton were knocked out by Shrewsbury. 0 0 to Charlton and Wickham. MK Doms went out against Bristol. Doncaster lost 2 1. Swindon Town and Ipswich Town drew 1 1. Southend beat Stevenage. Sunderland were tied with um, Gillingham. Plymouth was knocked out by Exford. Exford, Oxford, what is wrong with me today? Portville, Port Vale went through and so did Blackpool. In the replay, Forest Green beat Warsaw. No, Warsaw beat Wa Forest Green again in a replay. They did it. No, they didn't do it in a replay. Warsaw. That was Warsaw's first replay. Sunderland went through and so did Ipswich. Now in the round three, we beat Blackpool 3 0. Portville was beaten by Bournemouth. 1-0 Man City beat Leeds 1-0 Rochel Rochdale beat Sheffield United 4-0 2-2 to Oxford and Southampton Leicester beat Brentford um, Shrewsbury got knocked out to, after a 2-1 defeat against um, Uckin Arrington Derby beat Derby in the Championship beat Wolves in the Premier League 2-1. Rotherham, after quite a few good, after five goals in the match, ended up losing against Fleetwood. Liverpool beat Alexander Arnold. Why do I keep saying Alexander Arnold? You guys are probably screaming at me in the comments for that. 
I kept saying Crew Alexander Arnold, but that's a fucking footballer. I meant Crew Alexander. Whole City and Coventry were tied after the 90 minutes. Man United and Reading played, and Man United went through. Ipswich were finally knocked out by Bristol City. Salford was knocked out by Millwall. Fulham beat. Fulham knocked Preston out. Newcastle beat Wickham. Um, Swansea beat Burnley. Arsenal thrashed Doncaster. Palace beat Lincoln 4 1. 4 0 to Blackburn against South End. Wigan nil, Walsall nil. Sheffield Wednesday against Bristol Rovers. They won 2 0. Burnley beat QPR 2 1. Birmingham and Luton Town ended 1 1. Norwich against um, Watford, it was 3-1 to Norwich. West Ham beat Brighton just 1-0. 5-0 to Chelsea against Portsmouth. Sunderland were knocked out by West Brom after a 3-0 defeat. Another 3-0 defeat this time against Cardiff and it was Middlesbrough who knocked them out. Huddersfield beat Aston Villa 2-1. Bloody hell. Everton beat Stoke City 2-0. Nottingham Forest beat Peterborough in their match and they won 3-0. The replay, Birmingham City went through 3-1. Warsaw beat Wigan Athletic 2-1. Um, Coventry beat Hull City 4-3 on penalties. Southampton beat Oxford 4-3 on penalties. Now in the round four we've got Southampton versus Crystal Palace, the North London derby between us and Arsenal. Wigan vs Birmingham, Middlesbrough vs Sheffield United, not Wednesday, Burnsley against Leicester, Blackburn against Newcastle, Swansea against West Ham, United face Forest, Bristol faces Coventry, Sheffield United vs Fulham, it's Chelsea vs Bournemouth as well, Norwich vs Millwall, they're both in the Championship, but I'm going to put my money on Norwich going through. Derby of playing Fleetwood. West Brom face um, Accrington. I really need to learn how to say that fucking name. It's a rival match between Liverpool and City. Look at that. Huddersfield and Everton play each other. Now we will play the match. Let's just look at the squad see. Yeah. Right. Obviously, we're rolling with this starting 11. Harry Kane, Deli Alley, Stephen Bergwijn and Lucas Moura. Actually, no. Bergwijn, I'm sorry, I'm putting you on the bench. Son, you're being played. And, yeah. So, we've got Harry Kane as the striker. Deli Alley is in the cam position. Human Son and Lucas Moura are either side of Deli Alley in the left mid and right mid position. Lucelso and Harry Winks are the midfielders. Rose and Doherty are the full backs. Alderweireld and Vertonghen are the cent the Belgium duo are defended. Hugo Lloris in goal. They are defending Hugo Lloris's goal. On the bench we have got Sterling, Bergwijn, Belcourt, Dyer, Aurier, Lamella and Joe Hart. And we've got no suspensions or injuries other than Ben Davies is out. And Walker Peters is missing out due to the fact that um, Matt Doherty has joined and he challenges Stephen Berg, he cha challenges Serge Aurier even though he's actually better than Serge Aurier even though they're both um, the same overall. Doherty's got that one star difference on the weak foot than Aurier does. So really I'd prefer Doherty to be defending. But whereas if you compare again to Walker Peters, which I haven't actually done before, Walker Peters is still quite better with the pace in that. Shooting goes to Oreo, passing goes to Oreo, dribbling goes to Oreo, defending goes to Oreo, physical goes to Oreo. But you know, I might actually replace Oreo's spot with um, Walker Peters. Although, I might sell both of them. We've not sold anyone in the transfer window yet. So if we go to Transfer Hub, we've not sold anyone. 
I mean, this is our short list. Go on, Wolf. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously, we've got Ronaldo on the thing. But unless I sell Bergwijn or Son, I don't really have a spot for him. And I can't... I wouldn't want to start him against... Ahead of Harry Kane. Because Kane's just... I prefer Kane because he's an actual Tottenham boy and... Uh, and... Yeah. Ronaldo's won things. Whereas Kane, not really. I mean, he's agreeing with me there. He's just nodded in now. Jill, Jared Bowen is another person we could bring in. But again, unless I sell someone, say, um, unless I sell my two right mids, Lucas and Lamella, no place for him. And Takafusa Kubo, another one. He can go in centre mid and can, but unless I sell someone for him. The same with Mason Mount. I don't really have any spots for, good, for any of these players. But, never say never, maybe they will, my players' forms will drip in that and maybe I might decide, you know what, I want to sell you, mate. But, but yet again, we face a team with a bloody, two, with a bloody fucking um, ten-year-old in it. I could mug them off, but this is, I want to win some shit, so I'm not going to do that. We are at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The referee is John Brooks. It is semi pro, semi pro, semi pro. Each half is six minutes long. It is cloudy. It's the 23rd of January 2021. It's the kickoff time is 12:45 p.m. So it's still light outside. Okay. Well, it's January, so is it? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck am I on, bro? Of course it is. I'm at school at that fucking time. So yeah, schools went back today. Me and my mates were playing football, and we got battered two one. I, I'm shit at football, but I actually scored. It's because their goalkeeper was trying to mug me off and shit. Oh fuck! Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? Missile Matrix today on EATV. Join us soon. Tottenham versus Arsenal. Fuck off back to Woolwich. North London is ours. Chirpy's up there. In case you didn't know, Chirpy is the cop boss. City fans, this is what a matched out stadium looks like. They both got hat Harry Kane. Good old Kane. Listen to them fans. Listen to them. The only thing is that they haven't got right with this stage at them. There's a thing that says come on you Spurs and stairs to doing that. They're actually electronic in real life. And they cipher through things like this is my club, my one and only club. And come on you Spurs and all that. And it's the fans' birthdays were there and that and has messages from the fans from the families and that. And it says like happy birthday say Jimmy. Love from Timmy. But I've never actually been to a football match. Bernard Leno is still in goal. So is Abamiang is still playing to them. This looks nothing like the Arsenal side we face in the Carabao Cup. They'll be looking to knock us out of this FA Cup match. Due to the fact that we knocked them out the Carabao Cup, so they'll be looking to knock us out the FA Cup. Okay, ref. 
Kane's injured. Kane's fucking injured. He's injured, Kane. You fucking dickhead. Walk it off, Kane. You can. You're fine. It's Harry, it's Harry Winks. Winks gives it. Luther. Ready, ready down wide here. Chance to get some witness of this attack. You injured my striker, you cunt. I'm allowed to call Arsenal cunts because I'm a Tottenham sport and they're our bitter rivals. Tottenham, 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 Tottenham. That defending is incredible, Rose. I know I'm controlling you, but it, I know I'm controlling him in that. But his stats just prove he is good. The ref still hasn't. I'm not playing on attacking, I'm an actual mong. Remember, I always had someone sent off during the North London derby. I really need to get it to Lucas quicker because he can make them runs. Quick, quick, quick. By the way, if this result gets too crazy, like they only right, I've got a good reason to restart this match yeah it's my first game on fifa all day we'll see we if we went back to school today well, and harry day. kane was injured so we couldn't score any goals and i've got a few yeah i never win my first match of fifa Sorry. Plus, yeah, it's Arsenal, I'm allowed. Plus, look, I'm struggling to get the ball up. I need options. But now he's says that, Kane's not going to do well. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Shilio Shilio Matt Doherty though, this is his first North London derby. So he fucks up, I'm not going to take anything right now. Right, if he starts making mistakes in that, I will pull him off of the field. The fans want us to win, obviously it's fucking North London Derby. Yeah, so Dilly Alley! How dare you! We allow you in our fantastic stadium, linesman, and you flag us off side, you dickhead. Arsenal supporters, bro. Where's Danny Rose? No, that's offside. That's offside. That was my goal offside, but that one wasn't. That's shit, bro. Oh, 
spotted oh, the pass, the pass and carried out. Winks. Winks, Lucas. What do you mean that's not outside, you cunt? Fucking arsehole supporter, bro. I'm restarting. I'm only restarting, lads, because you can't fucking flag us offside and then not flag there. Them lot of. Them fucking intruders. They don't belong in North London, bro. Their home is in fucking Woolwich. Woolly, bro, that's where they live. That's where their home is. That is where they are from. And if you ever forget that, I will remind you that this team is not a North London team. Tottenham is the true North London team. I don't know why they have to say that, because whenever you say that, whenever they say that, you know your player isn't going to do well. That fucking linesman, I hope he's fucked up his ideas, you know. You can't flag off the side. On an onside goal. I thought Kane scored that. Ref, how son? You literally left a 14 year old that muscle, you. Do they even play as Zill anymore? Or did Azil Azil leave? Lucas! The funny thing is that it's the exact same goal I scored in the first game with the exact same amount of people in the box in the exact same play. The entire goal move though, it off the line, which should be even possible due to the fact that it's, it's like in the ground. Well it's not really that deep into the ground really, because this pitch that we're playing on right now, in real life, it moves. So this pitch moves, splits into three parts, and um, it moves into the south stand part in the south stand and past the south stand. So if you break through the south stand, you reach the um, you reach. The car park and the field just sits there. The pitch just sits there, and that the lights are like if in the car park where the pitch is are special lights to help the grass survive in that. Penalty blob. Right, well, I don't mind if they score an equaliser. Let's be real. Same thing happened in the Carabao Cup in the London derby, and we beat them. And penalties. How do you miss that, man? Yeah, it's Harry Winks. Certainly 
Attempting to find a teammate, just jammed around an opponent. Yellow. Watch out, Gio. That's what a North London derby is, though. Challenges like that. Like, Arsenal should be level, or at least winning. They should be winning at least 2-1. Yeah, yeah, Ali. Lucas. Just Ali. Good pick away from the keeper. Joe knocks it in. Ali. Kane doesn't get it. Arsenal now on the counter attack. Yeah, Azil must have left or retired or something. Because he was the number seven for Arsenal. I swear. He's the Arsenal number seven. Does Azil even play for him in real life still? I haven't seen Azil play for ages. You know. I think he might have been dropped down into the, the reserves in real life. He didn't play that North London derby against Dutch in real life on the 1 2 1. And Spurs go. I'm so lucky that was half time and not a uh, second yellow for GR. Players have had their chance to assess what the first half brought for them. We'll start now with the second half of this game. Game in the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, just testing to two team managers for the second half. I never knew, I didn't know how you get into the FA Cup from that. I always thought Arsenal got into the FA Cup because their sponsors are quite Emirates and it's the Emirates FA Cup. I used to think it was quite like, like, the Emirates Cup, like, it's like Emirates and that, but it's quite like, I'm stupid. And um, the... I'm like, you have to go through, I thought you had to go through qualification processes and that. Like, Fucking shit. Well, you in Tottenham on a Tuesday night. You play Thursday because you're fucking tight. Oh, what a feeling, what a night. Watch in Tottenham on a Tuesday night. You play Thursday because you're fucking tight. Oh, what a feeling, what a night. I mean, in real life. We're not in the Champions League at the moment. 
Bad, 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 my friend. That's going to be a little bit so I can difficult now. Ooh! I'll bring the melon on. He spoon footed that. Literally, I thought that was the equaliser, honestly. They're just shooting. They're just shooting, they're not thinking about the shots they're taking in there. They get the ball and then pow, shoot. That watch, they're going to get into the box and then shoot. They're not going to think about it. Shoot! Do I ever go for accuracy and no power? Or power and no accuracy? Arsenal's next game. The play play in the next match. I think this could be easy for them. Dilly Alley. 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 Let's go celebrate in front of the Arkham fans, eh? Nice one, Sonny. Nice one, Sonny. Nice one, Sonny. Let's have another one. Nice one, Sonny. Nice one, Sonny. Nice one, Sonny. Let's have another one. Go marching in. I want to be in. When the Spurs go marching, when the Spurs marching, in. or when the Spurs go marching, I want to be in that number. Or when the Spurs go marching, oh when the Spurs, oh when the Spurs go marching, in. go marching, in. oh when the Spurs go marching. Start it's getting ready for your, your vote on player of the season. At the moment, I'm thinking I have to choose between Deli Ali, Harry Kane, and Lucas Moura. I will bring Matt Doherty off. He's had such a good match. Wait, does Riley have... Well, they've had more than two shots. Lads, they honestly don't know how to bring one back. They're fucked. Oh, uh, wait, what? Harry went. Still Harry went. Harry went. Still Harry went. Plays it off to Deli Alley. Plays it to Kane. Gives it to Eric Lamella. Doesn't do anything with it. And the Spurs go marching on. Oh, look, that Tanganga, I heard you say. That should actually be his plan. That look, that Tanganga, I heard. Right. We have 
one sub left. So who will we bring on? Of course, we'll swap out um, Celso for Belcourt. Don't know how many he's scored. Imagine us in the Ozzy Whistle play. He's number 10, I thought he was number 7. I'm actually shooting. In real life though, I've, never, I've not seen him play much since our set of payments. We've got Ali. Daily Ali. I just don't think you understand. The only cost five mil is better than us all. We've got Deli Ali. If you can't beat us, kill our supporters. That's what he's thinking. The Tongan. Sergio Aurier. Passes it through to Lamella. Kane does. Too heavy of a touch. Son's going to close him down. Son doesn't close him down. We've got Liverpool next in the Carabao Cup. Oh yeah, he's got. I thought Gary Ali's. No, I'm not sure. Son's played well, he has. I'm glad I've started pulling ahead of. Um, uh, what's his name? Oh, so much shit, man. Could we get one last goal to just really embarrass them? Um. Oh, Tessa, go sit down, you mong. Look what you've fucking done. You are shit. Fucking shit. You are shit. Fucking shit. You are shit. So fucking shit. We have not Arsenal out of yet another fucking competition. That's probably going to be the um, video title. We knocked Arsenal out of another cup game. We beat Ar we knocked Arsenal out of another cup. Now their hopes. <sighs> I mean, how far have they gotten in the Europa League? Because if they win the final of the Europa League, then it's all good for them. I'll allow it really. In, uh, so we've got Serge Aurier negotiating with Roma and we have Danny Rose are uh, negotiating with Sylvia. Even though Bergwijn didn't touch the ball in that game. Next up though we've got Liverpool in the um, Champions League. Rose's transfer talks have broken down, not Europa League, the Carabao Cup. Hmm. What are the teams? What's the team looking like? The team's looking good. It's looking, looking, looking good. So, while we're at it, we'll see, we'll recap the history of what's happened this season in the FA Cup. Started with round one. Chelsea beat Cambridge 4 1 in the first round. Norwich beat Sheffield Wednesday. I would. <laughs> Um, beat Sheffield Wednesday 2-2 in 90 minutes but 5-4 on penalties Swansea lost 3-0 to Black 1-3-0 against Blackpool Hull City won 3-2 against Mansfield Man Mansfield Port Vale lost 3-1 to Brentford Plymouth 
and Crawley, Madrid, Tutu and one and Plymouth um won four three on penalties. Agginton won two 0 against Leon Torrent. I can't say half of these teams. Nottingham Forest beat um Oxford United two 0 Four 0 to Wickham Athletic against is it Athletic? No, Wickham Wanderers. Who's Wickham Athletic? Wigan oh what well, I'm stupid. Yeah, they won four 0 against Bury. Leeds beat Doncaster Rovers three 0 Um Colesley beat um we lost two one against Bristol Rovers. Shrewsbury um got knocked out by Derby after a three one defeat. Max um Macclesfield uh, lost three 0 against Palace. Warsaw against Forest Green Rovers. Warsaw won five four. Um, Wigan beat uh, Gillingham three 0 Huddersfield beat Bolton two 0 Grimsby beat Luton Town only on a one 0 win. Brentford against the Middlesbrough ended ended Middlesbrough going through after a three 0 win. Sunderland lost against. Lost one 0 against Wimbledon. Burn Birmingham beat Le- Exeter um, two 0 Northampton were knocked out by Swindon. Wotherham was knocked out by Blackburn after a four one defeat. Two one to Ipswich against Lincoln, sending them through to the second round. Sending them through to the next round. Peterborough knocked out MK Dons. Fleetwood, Stoke City, Bristol and um, Fleetwood, Oldham, Portsmouth and Crew, Alexander were knocked out and um, Newport, Burton, Brighton and Stevenage went through. Stevenage only winning on penalties 5-4 against Scunthorpe. Preston North End 1-4-1 against Salford. Charlton lost on, no, won 4-3 on penalties against Colchester and Reading lost 2-0 to Millwall and of course, last but not least QPR beat Tramia Rovers um, 4-0 Next round, Arsenal beat Swindon Town 4-0 Nottingham Forest beat Newport 5-0 Newcastle beat Burton 3-1 West Ham got a 1-0 win against Wigan the 4 0 win went to um, Brighton. Middlesbrough went through on penalties against Swansea. Um, Birmingham went out. Everton won 3 0 against Derby. Preston beat um, Steve Nugent 4 0. Bristol lost 2 1 to Hull. Millwall going through to the next round after beating Sheffield Wednesday 2 1. Wimbledon went out on a 2-1 defeat to Huddersfield 1-0 to Plymouth against Cardiff Leeds thrashed Wickham 5-0 Burnley um, went out after a 1-0 win to Brentford City, Man City beat Fulham 4-0 and finally last page um, Bristol City beat QPR on 5-4 on penalties Stoke City beat Blackburn 2-0 Crystal Palace beat Agington 3-1. Petersburg beat Grimsby 3-1. West Brom went through on pe- penalties 5-4 against Villa. I think that's the s- I think they'd beat Villa in the FA Cup as well. Southend won 2-1 against Charlton. Against Kelson. Charlton won 4-0 against Wolves. And Watford went through 1-0 after beating Warsaw. Warsaw. Round 5 saw Leeds, um, West Brom, Leicester and Wickham, Morecambe leave the um, competition with um, Chelsea, West, um, Bournemouth, Arsenal and City going through. Bournemouth went through on penalties. Newcastle went through after a 1-0 win against Huddersfield. Stoke City won 4-3 on 5-4 pe- on pens against Stoke. 
we beat we beat Southend 2-1. Crystal Palace beat Sheffield United 3-0. Southampton, Everton, Hull and Petersburg went through. Petersburg um, beat Port, beat um, Watford 4-3 on pens. Liverpool beat Wal uh, beat Bristol City. Wolves beat Brentford. Nottingham Forest went through against Preston. Man United beat West Ham United 4-0. And now this is the interesting page. 2-1 in a rival match between Liverpool and City. We, Tottenham Hotspur, also known as Spurs, or the Lily Whites, went through 5-4 on penalties against Arsenal after a 3-3 draw. Southampton um, kicked Hull City out of the competition. Everton versus Chelsea saw Everton leave. United beat Stoke City. Crystal Palace beat Nottingham Forest. Newcastle beat Bournemouth. And the only different result on this page is the 4 1 win to Wolves against Peterborough. And now the quarterfinals saw Manchester United go through to the semi finals against Southampton on penalties. Five uh, four three. Palace beat Newcastle four three on pen. We beat Wolves six one. That's the largest score margin on there. And Liverpool beat Chelsea three 0 Now we face um, Liverpool and um, with a four one aggregate score. And um, Newcastle face um, United with a four one aggregate score. So I didn't know it was a 4-1 aggregate score. So, you know, I can just sim this match in that. As long as I don't score more than four. It's 1-1 one, one, and we go through to the final. Um, they equalised after a 26 minute pen from for, um, from Fabinho. After Kane scored in the third minute. But now we are through to the um, Carabao Cup finals. And it looks like we will be facing who are we facing hmm is the battle already won by Tottenham Hotspur yes it is we have won the Premier League and probably every other competition we've reached the final but we won't find out who we faced yet unless I go Here. We face United on transfer deadline day, which we also have reached the Europa League spot they would be looking for. They just if they they just need to get above Chelsea and stay in that position to reach the Champions League. And um, <clears throat> yeah, we still only got one. We've literally got the same results as City, only with better on goal difference and goals against we've only conceded 18 and we've scored 70. It's still a relegation battle though between Southampton, Fulham and Cardiff and um, let's find out who we will be facing in the finals of the English um, Footballing League Cup also known as the Carabao, the EFL Carabao Cup. So Carabao Cup, we'll see. Us versus Manchester United, yes, I thought it was. After they thrashed, um, we won 5-2 on aggregate. They won 8-1 on fucking aggregate. This could be a tough match, lads. Look at how far we've come, though. It's already nearly the end of the season. But we will go forward. Serge Ori has been sold, ladies and gentlemen, for um, nine million seven thousand seven thousand one hundred and nine. Oh no, seven thousand. I don't know, lads. With nine mil, and we get a total of seven mil added to the transfer budget. So we go to the squad. And Kyle Walker-Peters is now 
important in this situation as he's our only other right back and now I'm gonna go to transfer market actually and let me see just while we approach deadline day who else I could bring in you know what I'll approach to sign <coughs> Just because after the Rose, we've got no other left back. Squad roll. Prospect. Burodic. Counter that. For rotation. Although Burodic is probably uh, better, is probably better for him than rotation. Five years. Let's go with a five-year contract. They want one year. Counter that with four years still want a one year counter that with three years and then counter that one with two don't want a release clause that's fine with me accept that we have a new sign in So Ben Davies is injured, and after Davies we have um, good old, good old Danny Rose. So we've I've just signed him so we can. Where is he? Granado. Uh. Granov. I'll call him Granov. We've got him as just a third choice left back. So we've signed two players in the two and a half seasons we've got. I know you'll. What does it say? A place of all back by. You have to work hard to get there. Just because. Oh, I'm not looking to replace him. And we've got more we've got more left backs than we do right backs. So I will fix that actually by going to Transfer Hub. Nope wrong one. Search players. Transfer status. Free agent. Position. Defender. Right back. Let's get the 19 year old Ahmed Award. Award. We have got a full squad. So, we've just. Um, and actually, as well. Just while we're here, we'll shortlist him. So, we've got both free agent right back that I could find um, there. Manchester City won therefore finds us um, second place but we win this, we go above them and we could have already won I mean we need Man City to lose some matches so obviously today we've got England versus Denmark in real life in the Nations League Fuck. Live from, from London, London, a match that, that shouldn't be a disappointment. A disappointment. Top, Top against, against, against Manchester United, United. It's, it's rarely dull, dull, dull when these, when these two, two giants, giants clash. clash. Stay, Stay with, with us, every, every kick, kick of the ball is coming, coming up on EA, on EA TV. TV. Hello, Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to come from this venue. venue. A, a well welcome to North London. North London. A well welcome, welcome, welcome from me, Derek, Derek Ray, and from the commentary, commentary by, by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. I'm looking, looking forward, forward to bringing you action from, from the Premier League coming right up.
I want to win. I need to win. We need to win this Premier League title. And the substitutes obviously Sterling, Bergwijn, Dyer, Walker Peters, Lamella and Joe Hart. This is a different foot. This is a different um, United team than I'm used to seeing. The hair, obviously, I'm used to seeing, and um, Bruno and all that. That's a given that they're there. But all these, like, McTominay, I've never seen. All I have. I commented on the last time we um, played them. I want to get an early goal, Look at but Swedish. the thing with that is, everyone really knows how to combat Lucas now. Defending. They've all been learning, so Lucas can now low longer, whereas before I could just run through defenders really the easily. The I'll have to find a new well, player, or a new way I can do that. Up. Martinez, Martinez. And a five stop. Dead by Lloris. Ali. Ooh. Right down the of the opposition. We've got the best home record. So We've lost it. no matches at home. United will make that a, will want to make that a Five one. But we'll try not to let that happen. What the fuck was that, Danny Rose? Headed right into the beast's hands. Gives it to Harry Winks. Gets it through to Lucas. But We're just not getting forward. The team's just not getting forward. I said get in box and Kane's just running and standing in front of a defender. That's all he's doing. What am I meant to do with that Kane? Lucas! Lucas Moura, I think might actually be player of the season. I think it's already decided. But I have to let you guys vote. A poll will be up on my Instagram and my Twitter at it underscore Shabagamer. It's exactly what happened in North London Derby. In real life. Yes. 
Um, they scored, Aubameyang scored, 